Hello guys, it is Kate of Theories here, and guys, if you are a fan of this channel, you will know that we absolutely love the dumping ground. And surprisingly, we have never actually told you guys what our favourite episodes of this show are, so I thought today we'd do exactly that. Today, we are going to be creating a top 10 list of the top 10 episodes that I think are the best from the dumping ground. That doesn't include Trace Speaker Returns, or the story of Trace Speaker, or My Mum Trace Speaker. Today, we are solely focusing on the dumping ground, but if you do enjoy this video, make sure to let us know down below in the comments and by liking it, and then maybe we can do our top 10 episodes from Trace Speaker Returns, the story of Trace Speaker and my mum Tracy Beaker as well. I mean, technically there is no 10 episodes of my mum Tracy Beaker, but you know what I mean. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we make a brand new dumping ground video. So before we go any further, I just want to say that this is my very own opinion of where these episodes rank. These are my favourite episodes, you guys probably have completely different favourite episodes. So why don't you let me know down below in the comments what your top 10 list is and do you agree with mine or not? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments and also before we go any further, I just want to let you guys know that this is my choice right now it might change it has changed in the past but today it is this so we're going with it today maybe at some point i'll do an update but yeah if at some point i in the future i say that something else is higher than this it's because it's changed this is just going from now and one more final thing is that i am treating two parts so stories that are basically just two parts of the same story as one whole episode in this else I wouldn't be able to fit many of these in because lots of these are two parters so that's sort of giving you a hint as to which is in this list so let's get on with number 10 to have and to not hold and missing presumed single this is series 6 episode 23 and 24 of course the finale of series 6 and Mike's wedding now this episode is just amazing for one giant reason and I remember seeing this in the trailer because they sneakily showed this and I was like I cannot wait for this and that is because Tracy Beaker quite literally returns yet again and it is incredible unfortunately I do think that Tracy's slightly underused in this episode and they kind of focus a bit too much on Ryan however I love Ryan and his acting is great in here and just the story is really really good it's definitely not the best which is why it's not anywhere further down this list but it is really really great I love Maylee and Joseph and Maylee's baby coming out they are absolutely hilarious together Charlie's story is like really really hard heartbreaking and really really sad and it is just played so so well and I absolutely love it and the reunion with loads of people returning it's just really really fun it's a great fan moment for everyone the only thing I'd say that's annoying about this is that again like Tracy all of these reuniting characters unfortunately literally didn't have anything to do apart from just turn up which I guess it's fine but I'm just glad that this episode did give Mike a very happy time after so so long Coming into number nine, we have Rage and Five Doors. I told you there's lots of two-parters, and already the ninth one is yet another two-parter. And this is the beginning of series seven, episode one and episode two, straight after the last two-parter that we've just had. Honestly, this was a great time to be a Dumping Ground fan. I think this episode is just a breath of fresh air in the gradual decline of the show, because unfortunately, as you'll notice from this list, I personally aren't really liking the latest seasons of the Dumping Ground. There's no series eight episodes in this list. And this is like the latest episode this list goes to. The rest are all earlier episodes because I've always thought that the show is gradually, unfortunately, declining. But this was a nice bit of fresh air that I just thought was really, really needed. I like the new characters that they brought in in this episode and I wish they had stayed because I love Freya and she is a brilliant character. I love the new character, Luke. Unfortunately, Sid was the only character that I really did not like in this episode as I feel like he is the weakest and he was unfortunately the one who ended up staying he's a good character now but in this episode I just really wish that Freya had stayed and I really hope they bring her back I thought it was brilliant because it brought in some new competition for characters like Sasha to cause conflict with because Sasha really needed some conflict again because it had been many seasons since she'd properly had that conflict and it gave me reminders of the visitors in Tracy Bigger Returns when the burning wood lock come because you've got that big fight between Tyler and Carmen similar to Sasha and Freya I just really like it and of course the big party at the DG that takes place with loads of guests coming and Sasha's heartbreaking moment at the end is just really really great. 
Coming in at number 8 we have The Wardrobe from Series 4 Episode 11. Now if you see my tier list on my favourite characters on the dumping ground you will know that I really really do not like Joseph. So it's surprising that this episode of all is in my list because it basically just focuses on the character of Joseph but I just absolutely love it. It is a great idea to have an episode with less characters so we can focus in on more. This story focuses in basically on Ryan, Kazima and Joseph and that's about it and it works brilliantly the it's just a really cool concept of just having this really mysterious wardrobe and just seeing all of the problems that go with it and i love the story simply because it's a great last adventure for kazima before she leaves in the next episode it's just a really fun episode and a really cool concept it doesn't really have anything to do with being in care but it's just a fun idea and i absolutely love it Coming into number seven, we have the series three two-parter, three days and free to good home. That is series three, episode 11 and 12, the first episode of the first time when the dumping ground split the series into two parts. Now this introduces Sasha, who absolutely everyone loves. I don't think I've ever met a dumping ground fan who doesn't love Sasha. And I love how the episode tries to make it look like Sasha will eventually be good, but then just never will be because of everyone else. And I love the iconic scene of Sasha just absolutely getting so angry that she just goes and hits all of the lights on the minibus. I just think it is so iconic. Unfortunately, the second part isn't really as strong, but that's personally just because I really do not like the character of Dexter. But as an introduction to Sasha, it has some great story, some great conflict, and I think it's a really, really great episode. Coming into number six, we have SOS, series one, episode four. Now this episode has just always stood out to me as just a general classic, and I'm sure we can all agree with that. It introduced the Jacksons family, who the show would incorporate a lot in future episodes. I mean, even last series, we're still dealing with these characters. Jody Jackson, the actual episode in Trace Speaker Returns, was one of my favorite episodes, but unfortunately it happened right near the end of Trace Speaker Returns, so we didn't really get much time to dwell into Jody's life and her family. And I think this episode brings in some great context, some great backstory for Jody, the character who we've grown to love and is still with us today. I also really love all of the other bits in this story, like T when she secretly steals something, the Morse code use with Gus and Tyler, and I just think the episode is just a really, really cool idea and I really, really like it. In number five, we have the very first episode of The Dumping Ground, Home Alone and Liberty in the DG, series one, episode one and two. If you're going to talk about Dumping Ground classics, I said SOS was one, this here, this is the main one. It is amazing. I never used to watch The Dumping Ground and I don't know why because I used to always watch Trace Week Returns and then just like ignore The Dumping Ground. As soon as I saw this, I knew this is something amazing. And it is just a brilliant episode of how it goes from really, really fun to eventually something awful. And if you know me, my favorite character of the Dumping Ground is Electra, and Electra is at her top point. All of the characters are brilliant, and I just love the idea of them being home alone and these care kids doing whatever they want and then realizing actually the care workers aren't that bad, we kind of need them. The grenade bit is a bit unrealistic slightly, but then again, this whole episode kind of is, so I'll take it. Coming in into number four we have kickoff and quitters the series two episode one and two opener now this one introduced bailey who i absolutely love and this episode actually got me into the show as i said before i used to only watch tracy big returns and just didn't really care about the dumping ground series one because i just thought without tracy i'm not going to watch it but i thought when series two came around i'd watch the series two opening to see whether i liked it and my word i'm so glad that i did this has so much to love about it i love bailey's character development Faith in it is brilliant and the tragic thing that happens to her. The cliffhanger in the middle where Faith gets run over, it is just brilliant and I think this introduced the golden era of the show that I absolutely love. Coming into number three, we have Something Borrowed, series three, episode 17. Now, if you're ever going to think of the most insane idea ever, or arguably just the weirdest idea ever that would make such a good show, it would be this episode. That is Something Borrowed, where it is just a hilarious idea to have Carmen, of all people, just drop a necklace down the loo, and the entire episode literally takes place in the tiny little bathroom in Ashdeen Ridge. It is just a hilarious concept, and I I absolutely love how the show differs with different perspectives one with Carmen where she ends up not admitting it and one with Carmen where she ends up does admitting it and how she struggles with this idea and the revenge that she tries to take place and it is just a brilliant 
idea and some great character development for Carmen from just such a really stupid idea as dropping a necklace down the loo. I just think the different perspectives and the two different storylines that take place in this episode are just great things and I absolutely love it. Coming into second place, we have Breaking In, Series 3, Episode 8. Now before, when I mentioned the wardrobe with Kazima, I really loved how it was just focusing on three characters. This episode takes it a step further, just focusing on a big duologue between Kaz and T. It's such a simple concept of just everyone being out, Kazima and T being in the house alone and then burglars coming in, and it is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. I just love all of the conversations that we have between Kazima and T. T and Kazima are some of my favourite characters. The character development that they have in this, the story arc that they go through this episode is just amazing and it's just a really fun game of hide and seek between them. I love using the walkie talkies around the house. I love thinking of Ashdeen Ridge as this giant house that has loads of hiding spots that they go and find and I just love how they end up tricking the burglars in the end. It is just a really fun episode but really quite heartfelt as well with all of the sadness that can come from this episode such as when T unfortunately finds her photos being ripped apart. It's a really strong episode and I absolutely love it. And finally coming into first place of my favourite episodes of the Dumping Ground. You guys might be really surprised by this but my favourite episode is actually Endurance Series 2 Episode 7. Now you might be wondering, this has absolutely nothing to do with actually being in care. It's got nothing to do with all the serious elements. It's got no drama whatsoever. All it is, is just the characters in a competition. And to settle the competition, they just put their hand on the TV and that's it. And the entire episode is just watching these characters struggle with putting their hand on the TV. I don't know what it is, but it is just such a hilarious and fun idea. I absolutely love it. It's a great concept, a really simple idea, and I just, like, usually I'd want more drama, I'd want more serious moments, but this is the quality of the dumping ground, I think, where you can actually take something as stupid as just touching the TV with no relevance whatsoever and make it a really great episode. I wish when they do, like, drama light episodes nowadays in the dumping ground, they just treat it all as a joke. This treats it as a joke, but does it in such a hilarious way that it works and I absolutely love it. I don't know why it works. Maybe it's because of the characters. Like I said, I think series two is the golden era of the dumping ground. Maybe it's because of just the strange and weird idea and it just has nothing to do with anything. But I don't know what it is. I just absolutely love this episode. Whenever I think of which episode of the dumping ground am I going to watch today, I always question whether I'm going to watch this. It's just a nice one. Have one in the background and it's just a really funny concept and I'm so glad they had it. And it's a nice break, especially especially if you're watching The Dumping Ground and you're binge watching it and you're dealing with all these serious concepts and then you just come to this really light-hearted and fun episode. I absolutely love it and it is definitely by far my favourite episode of The Dumping Ground. But anyway guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let us know down below in the comments what your top 10 Dumping Ground episodes are. Do you agree with my picks? Are any of my picks actually in your top 10? And let me know which ones you agree with or disagree with and just all of your Dumping Ground thoughts down below there. And as always, we've been here on Gative Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. I was wrong. Say